Hello, this is John from Coda Bears. Today I'll be covering document management. The first thing we need to do when dealing with document management is have a location on the server for our documents to be stored. I'm going to create a folder called Documents. And then I'm going to go to Properties and Sharing. And I'm going to share the folder. And under Permissions, I'm going to give everyone full control. You may set that up differently depending on the way your company is set up for security, but for this case, we'll just give everyone full control. Now, under Company Maintenance, on the Attachments tab, this is where the document management is controlled. Under File System Location, I'm going to check Enable File System. Under Default Base Location, I'm going to enter in the UNC path for that Documents folder I just created. We can leave the file transfer mode as the default file transfer using service, and we'll save that. Now I'm going to come over here to Customer Maintenance. And I'll search for a customer. I'll just use this first one, Ace Brown. And as you can see, there are currently no attachments on here. I'm going to right click the customer and add new attachment. And all I'm going to do is browse for a file. And I'll attach this customer doc file. And I'll just call this Form 1. Now that file is attached to this customer file under the Attachments drop-down as Form 1. I can open that form. If I click right-click and go to Edit, you can see this has attached this document using my local location for the document so it's only a, it's only associating a link to the local path of the document now if somebody else were to go and try to open this from their own machine they would not be able to because this document is on my machine and they can't access that i'm going to add another attachment and this time i'm going to choose a document type we'll call it customer agreements And I'll just select this agreement and call this Form 2. Now you can see under this Customer Agreements drop down, that is where my Form 2 exists. And again, if we go to Edit, now because this Customer Agreements document type actually has the setting for the file system document rather than attachment link it's actually attaching it to that documents folder that we created on the server and now everybody can get to this customer agreements file and if I go into the folder under my company. This is a customer. I have my agreement. Now what I can do, now I'm going to delete this form one since this is an attachment using a link to my local machine. And I'm going to come back to Company Maintenance, 
and I'm going to change this default document to file system document. Now when I come back to my customer, and you can see right now I only have the one under customer agreements. I'm going to add an attachment. I'm going to leave it as the default. And I'm going to attach this customer doc and call this form one again. Now it placed it under directly under the attachments node again. However, now that customer doc is also accessible on the server share. And if I come in here and go to edit, you'll see it put it into the server share because I changed that default to use the file system management. Now if I come down to document management and we'll look at, I'm going to come to document management and look at document type maintenance. Under here, this is where I have my different document types that I've created. This is the customer agreements document type that we used just a few minutes ago, and you can see this is set to file system document. Now, if I were to set one of these to use attachment link, whenever somebody associates an attachment with that document type, it's going to attach that as a link to a local location rather than the shared server location. So you can set these up in different ways depending on how you want to use them. Maybe you have a document type that you only want specific people to have access to their own files. You would set that up that way. And you can set this reserved for specific tables on document types. And what that does is when you come to document type control, you can set a table, in this case customer, and the document type is customer agreement. And that way, only specific document types can be used on those specific tables. I can add a new table in this case we'll say job head and I'm gonna put an ECO document link on there. So if somebody is working on a job, they can attach to the ECO document type under the job head in job entry. And that ends our session for today. Please join us again for more videos.